So hey, what's up guys? I go by the name Soji Gray and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that anytime a new video is released, you would be updated instantly. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create this amazing interactive hero widget in Figma. And if you're excited about that, let's jump right in. So I'm gonna open uh, Figma now, I have it opened. And the first thing we wanna do is create a frame. So I'm gonna tap um, F, the, key, the keyboard shortcut key F, and then draw a random frame. And as you can see, I have a, a rectangle frame right here. Now the second thing I wanna do is to uh, tweak the corner radius. I'm gonna impute 20. Um, say, let me just make it 30. So the corner radius of the frame is 30. The next thing I want to do is create a rectangle within the frame and I want it to fill the frame completely. So that's what I'm doing now. Now this is going to act as uh, a linear gradient. So I'm just gonna to come to fill, select linear and then have it this way and the colors i'm going to use is black and this will be probably another shade of gray i'm going to drag this a little bit here i might do um, final tweakings later so now this is what we have the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open the unsplash plugin uh, the whole idea is that this platform or this website is an e-learning plat platform. So uh, people will be able to use their mouse to navigate the hero section and see the available courses. So I'm going to search for corporate portraits. And then uh, I'm just going to choose any. Um, I like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is press K. Now K helps you scale down or app the image. So I'm going to let it scale down a bit so that I can feel the frame. I'm just going to move it over the frame. So we have it here outside. You just have to drag it on top of the frame and then it comes inside. Now, what I'm gonna do now is to uh, zoom in a bit and drag it, probably center it. Um, bring it down a bit. Mm. Yeah, center it. And I think this looks good. Now, the next thing is that I'm gonna move it below the rectangle so that we have this very nice graduation a graduating uh, vignetting effect, uh, if you can say. Now, the next thing we want to do is to add some text. So I'm going to zoom in a bit and then I'm going to tap keyboard shortcut key for text T, tap. And then uh, we're going to say this guy teaches or is a tutor for computer coding. Computer code. In right, we're gonna left align it. Um, set the text to 30. The form we are actually using is SF Pro Text. I'm gonna have it sit right here, and then I'll make a duplicate. Right, so I'm gonna make a duplicate, and then let's see. This course has 26 modules. So I'm gonna say 76 modules. Um, is there where I can even make this a little bit smaller? Yes, I can. So we'll have it set this way. And then I can scale it up. And, uh, and then have it sit on the other side. Like so. So this has to be left aligned in terms of constraints and then center. And this is going to be right and then center. Well, let's now 
turn this into a component. So it's now a component. We're going to create a variant. So we have another variant here. And now we can tweak the variant, the second variant. So what I'm going to do is to make the frame smaller. So I drag it this way. Even before I do that, I'm going to select the modules text and at layer, I'm going to turn this to zero to nicely hide it. And then now I can make this smaller. And then I'm going to turn this text by 90 degrees. So 90. And then I'll drag it to the top a little bit. And then I'll center it. So uh, these are our two variants for needed for what we want to do. Now, the next thing I'd want to do is to tweak the text a bit. So this is the, sorry, tweak the image a bit because we want to have like a zoom effect, right? So once you hover the mouse over this, it transitions to this, but at the same time, it has to be like a, like a zoom, a zoom in effect a little bit. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and have it sit this way, right? Probably center it. Yeah. So this is what we have. So now what we want to do now, since we have our components is to, you know, create different assets from uh, our components that has two variants. So I'm going to drag this, oh, so option, sorry. I'm going to select the first variant and option drag. So we have this here. Now what we want to do next, let me zoom in a bit. What we want to do next is to click shift A. Now what shift A does is that it creates or adds auto layout to the card. Now I'm going to select the frame on the left, click frame two, Command C and Command V. I would press that one last time to have four cards. Um, I'm going to come back to the frame and then I would adjust the spacing between them a bit. Mm, I think this works. Now, because we've added auto layout to this, it means that in case I change this variant to uh, the second version, we're still going to maintain the spacing. It's going to be consistent. And that's why I love to use uh, auto layout. So now I'm going to tap this and revert back to the default uh, variant. Now, what we want to do is change these. So for example, the first course say is computer coding. Let's say the second is fashion design. Uh, the third is, um, hmm, what's it going to be? Digital marketing. And then the last one will be, um, social. media strategy right and then let's just change the module so this has 26 modules let's say this has 42 modules digital marketing has 99 modules <clears throat> and social media strategy has 73 modules so there we have a course name and then the number of modules. So now what we want to do next is to change the imagery. So I'm going to select this, select the image, and then tap the plugins. So we're going to open on splash. Type corporate portraits. Mm 
and such. So we want someone who can teach, say, fashion design. Um, I want to keep a gender balance. I'm looking for a woman. I love... Hmm. Let me add woman to it to see whether I can come up with some options. Hmm. I want an image that has, yeah, I think I'll, no, because she's wearing shades, that would not be appropriate. I might, oh my God, I just need, okay, so, you know what, um, <laughs> I just, I just need to find the right images, guys, so, I, I like this lady, I'm going to select that. And the nice thing is that it's going to replace this image. Um, I'm going to crop it a bit just so that I can have it come up a bit to have that consistent look. Um, right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What did I just do? Command D. And then... Yeah, have it said this way. So as you can see, we just replace the image. Everything else stays the same. Uh, we're going to repeat the same process. Click this um, frame. Unsplash. And then we're going to open Unsplash. And, you know, portraits for somebody who teaches digital marketing. Mm, I think this is my guy. This is the guy I want. And I think on second thoughts, I think I'd I'd have to skip him. I want something with um you know a bit of headroom. So I'm gonna select this guy. Yep, and as you can see, it fits kind of perfectly. And then let me select the last one. Click the unsplash file and then let's get the last image social media strategy i just need something with a bit more headroom i will choose this lady yep now i can close the unsplash plugin and i'm going to select this and make it bigger bit by to do that i just need to click crop up here and then have it you know come up a bit and then I think it's good the last one select the splash file click crop and then drag it up a bit and so far I think it looks good so the next thing we want to do is we're gonna go to prototype so I'm gonna come to the right side and tap prototype we're going to select this and if I let's select this first and say that anytime this comes to this, it should be while, so let's, we're going to select, sorry, mouse enter. So anytime mouse enters here, it's going to transition to this and the animation is going to be small animate. Everything else remains the same. So then we're going to tap this and say once this comes to this uh it's going to smart animate as well but when mouse leave so mouse leave it transitions back to this so that is what we have so with this prototype done let's see if our prototype is going to work i'm going to tap this and convert come to design, sorry, and convert them to the second variant. So as you can see, it automatically switches. Let me just zoom in a bit. Figma is just so exciting, guys. Everything aligns perfectly well. Um, I like the fact that with, you know, this setup, you don't have to create a lot of instances. You just have to create 
one component, two variants, and that is all you need. So this is what we have now. I'm going to create a frame just so that we can try and prototype this and see if it works. And then I'm going to select frame and drag it in here. I'm going to center it. Click it and I'm going to click prototype. So it's loading up now and I'm just curious to see how it is going to turn out. Guys, if you're enjoying this video, please subscribe to the channel. Um, it's loading up now. And then let's drag. Let's let's let the mouse enter into say this one. Let's see what happens. So this is what happens. Love it. This is what happens. Love it. So it's kind of working. I'm gonna copy this and move it into page one and paste it. And now we're gonna drag this frame into this hero section just to demonstrate what we have designed. So I'm gonna drag it over here and click K and then make it a little bit smaller. And then I can click V, um, center it, not really center it, but like reposition it. We're gonna click desktop and we're gonna prototype it to see how it looks like. So yeah, like this is the platform. So it's called Lenovo. Take your learning to the next level. So um, you can just check the modules by just hovering, which is cool. Like it adds a different perspective to the website. It makes it more interactive. It makes the hero section more appealing. And I just love this implementation. So that is that guys. The exciting thing is that I'm gonna leave this um, file this Figma file and the Figma community. So if you're watching this video, go down to the description section. You're going to find the link that you can copy it and tweak it as you see fit or as you, you know, you tweak it to how you'd want to tweak it. And I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Um, this is my second tutorial. I'm trying to be better at this thing because it's not easy. So if you have any suggestion on how I can improve the delivery and you know how I go about the tutorials let me know down in the comment section below I go by the name Soji Gray if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button if you've not subscribed and smash the like button if you found this video helpful I will catch you guys in another one peace out